meeting went very well. It was a very successful meeting, uh, given that I had the opportunity to speak with the president and on the issues of security and insecurity in Nemo State. And um, we had a very good uh, conversation going forward. Of course, uh, there is nothing new you must have heard of the various uh, banditry activities in Nemo State and how even at a time few weeks ago, the police headquarters was attacked and uh, the correctional services uh, facility was also attacked, inmates released. And uh, since that time, there have been a couple of uh, uh, breaches here and there. And um, thank God that the federal government came to our aid and uh, beefed up security. And the situation in Imo State now is relatively calm. And um, every other support I asked for, the President also approved and granted. Of course, to increase the manpower and also give uh, the security agencies uh, logistic support to be able to do their job. Not only CCTV, some of the, those arrested by security agencies, some of them are not uh, from Imo State or Southeast. So it's a combination of uh, those within the state and those from outside the state. Well, as at the last count, I think we arrested over 40 to 50 uh, people who also made useful statements and who confessed to the crime. I continue to tell you that this issue of banditry is uh, something that we must all rise up as a people to condemn and then support security agencies to be able to provide a enabling environment for people to go about their businesses without fear of any molestation. Uh, the job of security of a country cannot be left alone to security agencies. Uh, the job requires the citizenry to at least support security agencies through intelligence gathering and also uh, government at all levels, including the traditional uh, leadership. Uh, to support government, because uh, the bandits, they stay among, uh, within us. You see, the criminals live among us. And if we are not in position to report them and report the activities of security agencies, then we are undoing ourselves. So I encourage everybody to see this as a collective challenge that all of us must join hands, whether you are from the local government to community level, to state up to federal government, we must join hands because uh, we don't have another country. The only country we can beat our chest and call our own is Nigeria. And we must work to, towards ensuring that the integrity of our country, the security situation in our country is such that it allows people, residents, both citizens, to go about their businesses without the fear of molestation. Anything, any problem anywhere, any part of the country is also a problem everywhere in the country. So it is not today, maybe most state, you don't know when it will be your own state. So if we don't come now and nip this in from the board, it means that um, one day we may not have a country. So let us defend our country. It's very important. Well, I believe in the rule of law, and uh, the Constitution has a procedure, and the punishment for every criminal, if confirmed a criminal, is also uh, defined in the established uh, status. So a criminal is a criminal, once confirmed. But what I don't agree is that anybody will want us to discuss and negotiate with confirmed criminals. What is important is making sure that the person has been confirmed to be a criminal. And then if you are confirmed to be a criminal, and uh, through due process, the confirmation came, you must face the, 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 the law of the land. Yeah.
Well, I don't know the meaning of crisis. Is it the call for cessation? I don't think that I'll support any call for cessation. I want a united, strong Nigeria. Our strength is in our diversity. And uh, today, we are supposed to play a leading role in this continent. And we don't want to withdraw down our strength. Rather, what I advise is that we must appreciate the gift of nature in our land and the support government. Listen, let me tell you something. This country is blessed by God. From 2015 today, I thought what the problem would be. People saying that we, no job creation. People are not feeding. Salaries are not paid. Infrastructure are going down. Social interventions are not approved by government. These things are there available. A pass mark for the government of President Mohamed Buhari. Now, people are no longer talking about that. Rather, what they are doing is to sponsor crisis to the extent that those funding this banditry are politicians, which are challenged and call on security agencies to make their names available to the press. Because what they want to do is to distract a government that is focused. If this government is not doing well, I will be one of those that will first declare the government as not doing well. But the situation where you will leave the formal way, ethical way of doing politics, and you are now sponsoring banditry to bring down a government, for Christ's sake, we should rise up and condemn it, all of us. Of course, I know the genuine interest of the president for Nigerians. I have had a series of discussions with him. And at every given time I've asked for one pro intervention or the other, it is given to me. And it is for the interest of my people. So, but then, for those things to function, we need an enabling environment. That is why the enemies of progress, not deterred by the progress the government is making, are now out to scuttle uh, good governance. Opposition and politics is about the people. Democracy is government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Why are people hiring people to kill the people? There is no responsible government that will not want those who voted him or her to power to be happy. And this government I have seen is a responsible government. This party, APC, is a responsible party. That is why some of, most of us are members of this party. And we promise that we deliver to our people. And I am committed that this government will deliver. However, I think we are rising to the occasion. I can tell you, sooner than later, today will become a turn of the past. And Nigeria will move forward. Well, we are talking about this is security issues. A lot of investigations are going on here and there. Preliminary reports are there. People are furthering the investigation. I think I've given you something to go home with. When you go home, think about it and do the homework for yourself. <laughs>